no way for survival. 那当时我就从那个楼上跳跳下来的时候，谁到外面也是这个公安在包围着。I when they came to arrest, I was on the third floor in a high-rise building, and I wanted to escape for the gospel. So I I throw myself through the window. But then downstairs, there were more than 50 policemen waiting me to land、uh, on top of them, and they caught me、uh, there. 然后一看你们这一群人都是为主耶稣的名，关过很多次监牢，死不悔改的人。然后我的两条腿以后就被。And they were so mad and furious because they said, "You never give up." We said to them, "You know, preach about Jesus, and you just continue again and again." So in torture with an、uh, uh, iron bar, they crushed my both legs from ankles. You are never going to walk anymore in your whole life. 当时在报纸上来报道，这个人是一辈子会住到监牢了，他一辈子死会死在监牢，因为他不悔改了。And next morning, all the newspapers and television proclaimed that this man is an unrepentant, heavy criminal. He will live his rest of his life as a handicapped, paralyzed person in the prison. He's never going to walk again. 后来一些台湾的商人、基督徒，他们就愿意拿出一百万块钱，要把我们这批传道人找出来。Uh, some of my friends, Christian businessmen from Taiwan, when they read, knew, heard about this news,、uh, they they brought one million dollars to the authorities in that city, and they wanted to buy freedom for me, but nobody dared to touch the money. Ah, 几年前那个总统祷告会的时候，那个一个参参政两院的议长在告诉我们说，我们发现一百零七个议员，国会议员签字。A few years ago, when we visited、uh, the Congress and the Senate of this、uh, USA, one of the、uh, Senate majority leaders he said, "We、we'll, uh, we engage 107 congressmen and the president, and we sign a, a firm letter to China's president to release you." But there, it did not help. 我想告诉各位，我们的神是爱我们的神，他是全能的神，他不是一个忘事的老人。But I tell you that our Lord is living God. He's not an old retired gentleman who has forgotten us. 他没有忘记这个孩子。He did not forsake his child. 我在监牢里面已经失败到极点，我相信我真的会死到监牢。Because of the heaviness of the torture I have to go through, I thought this is the end of my life. I believe I'm going to die in that top security prison. 一天早上，主耶稣走进监牢，说：“云弟兄，起来走，这是我拯救你的时候。” But one morning, eight o'clock, Jesus walked into my solitary cell, and he looked me in the eyes as I was lying on the floor of my cell. And he said, "Brother Yun, this is the moment of salvation for you. Stand up and walk out." 神做事，比那个电脑，发比那个电话录像机快，他比我们想的还快。And when Jesus takes action, it's faster than the fastest computer, including your own brain. 突然间，一句话进入我的里面，说：“天意是实实，但我是信实的。” I told Jesus, "This is a top security prison. You don't walk out from places like this." Immediately, he said to me, "Your prison is real, but I am the truth, and I will set you free." We today sit here. Everyone has their own problems. Jesus Christ is alive, the Lord of the Universe. He will conquer your problems. It doesn't matter how much you smile this morning. There are problems in your life, but I tell you the good news: Jesus is greater than any problem you ever have been able to create in your life. He can get us out of the different prisons. He can give us freedom. He has might and authority to bring us, set us free from any kind of jail or prison where we are this morning. Amen. Amen. So let's say in very un-American way to one another: Only Jesus can give us freedom. Only Jesus can give us freedom. Okay, let's stand up and pray. So let us. You still have to stand up. I'm not going 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 to stand up. I'm not
I asked him to come to close to how he walked out from the prison. The Lord started to walk, uh, uh, work in a, a, a wonderful way. When in obedience, despite my circumstances and my own condition, when I stood up and started to walk towards the cell doors and prison doors, they were automatically open for me to walk out. And not only one person, but many persons saw me walking out that morning. Among them one pastor who met me at the second door gates of the prison. He was on the way into the prison with a guard. The guard did not see me, but of course the brother saw me. And he told me very encouraging words. Are you going to allow them shoot you? But this voice of Jesus was commanding me, walk, walk, go out. So the truly obedience is to be obedient, something you feel is totally crazy, unbelievable, and impossible. That is obedience. And I learned a very important lesson that the miracles follow obedient people. None of the warden at the four inside the building security uh, 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 doors did not ask the most uh, uh, relevant question, where are you going this morning? Still, when people have read my testimony, they have still this big unbelief and say, how in the world did you manage to escape from a top prison? And I, I just said, very simple, I just obeyed. I didn't even have time to go to the prison office to tell them that I'm going to take a little walk about that morning. <laughs> And then they ask the next question as Westerners, who opened the doors for you? And I have, been, I have been thinking that myself, how in the world did everything went so wrong that morning that they, they, they was kind of automatically opened? But one day the Lord answered these very important questions to me. He said, I have angels in preparations to make way all the, to those all who are obedient. It was your own guardian angel who opened the doors and you just follow him without seeing him. And I think that the main reason why I was released was not because of the money or authority, it's because there were a couple of believers in that city who had five days earlier started to fast and pray, God interfere, do something, we cannot rescue your servant. And their prayer was very simple. God, if we need an old-fashioned miracle. You are God of Peter. You are God of Paul. Do a miracle in this city. And praise God, Jesus Christ is same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changed. He is real, he is alive, and he answers to our prayers.